All right, Palaka, Florida, how are you today? I know you're going to notice one thing very, very quickly. I am not Dave Mercer. But we do want to wish Dave well. Unfortunately, if you were on the dock and saw the takeoff this morning, Dave's voice was a little hoarse, wasn't feeling great. We really think it's important. We got uh, Rick Klon's 500th tournament this weekend, this week, you know, and into the weekend. Hopefully we see Rick on Saturday and Sunday. He'll be here either way at his little booth right here next to the bass stage. But we really want Dave to get healthy, get out here, and he can do, He let's face it, he's the best in the business. So I'm going to try to just pinch hit for him a little bit these first two days today. Maybe tomorrow we'll see how it goes. And uh, we'll, we'll get through this thing. So I ask you to be patient with me. Uh, my name is Chris Bose. I am the senior... Sorry, I am the vice president. Sorry, they surprised me. I'm like, that's awful quick. I'm not used to that. Vice president of tournaments for bass. So I kind of pinch hit. You saw me on the stage if you were down at Harris Chain last week, way in the fish. Now I get to MC. I kind of just pinch hit or wherever I can help out. So looking forward to a great week here at the Maxim Tire Bassmaster Elite here, of course, on the St. John's River, Palaka, Florida. We really want to thank our friends at in Palaka. Give them a big round of applause. Putnam County, Chamber of Commerce, Department of Tourism, great, great folks. They've been hosting these events for many, many years. I think I heard the ninth stop for, with the Bassmaster Elite Series here. Of course, City of Palaka, give them a big round of applause for everything they do to welcome us, give us this great park, great facilities. It's an awesome, awesome event here every time. A little bit later in the year, it's going to be interesting to see how things shake out. And we're about ready to get weighing fish. It's hot. I urge everyone, stay hydrated. That's very important. I don't mean just at the beer tent. Stay hydrated, okay? And uh, we'll get through this thing. It's going to last about two hours. Our last flight's going to check in at 4.30. Hopefully wrap things up around 5 o'clock. But before we get things rolling here, we need our weight mass tur tournament director. Come on up, LT. All right, she's going to go ahead and get the scales ready, and we'll get our first angler up here she'll give me the sign we're ready to weigh them y'all ready to weigh them come on palaka florida are you ready to weigh these things awesome let's get going our first angler come on up to john sukup uh-oh his flip-flop blew out so he will not get a code of conduct penalty we do require the flip-flops to be worn on the stage. You knew that. That's why you made sure Lisa knew that before you came up. No, I didn't know that. But uh, listen, I figure there's two ways to lead this tournament, and this is uh, this is one of them way in first. So that's what I'm doing right now. He absolutely is weighing 13 pounds and one ounce. Hold a couple up. There's your tournament leader right now. Not only that, you got the Crush City Monster bag so far. Good job, John. Thank you, man. Uh, hey, you guys, look at SaveMoreOutdoors.com. If anybody wants to find an old Trickster spinner bait, the one that you know you see Rick Klein one down here on, we got a ton of them, and they're all for sale. So go to SaveMoreOutdoors.com. Good job. Give it up for John. Our next angler, come on up from Cottage Grove, Wisconsin, Kyle Northsetter. Come on up, Kyle. Looks like Kyle had a good start. It looks like a good day of fishing out there. We're, seeing the, we're watching the bass track, and it looks like it was a fun day of fishing for a lot of guys. Yeah, it was a blast. Caught plenty of fish and uh, had a good bag to start with and then ended up going out head hunting and we struck gold in my mind, so I'll take it. Didn't, didn't last long for John. 16 pounds and 14 ounces. There's a new leader. Woo, yeah, give it up. Kyle. All right, you had the short in practice, only two days. Okay, wait, we'll go ahead and get Phoenix Boats Big Bass. Sorry. Right there, 411. Short in practice. This uh, indicative of what you saw during practice, or did just things work out for you? Yeah, everything I did I found during practice. I had it figured out within the first day and then found a backup plan. So, honestly, this was plan B. Hopefully, plan A will strike. We'll be doing a hike tomorrow if that's what it comes down to. We caught them good on our first day, so hopefully we'll follow up on the second day. And on a quick note, we all love Dave, but if I'm going to catch him like this, you may need to stay around a little more. I like it, Kyle. We love Dave. Great start for you. How about Logan Latuso from Gonzales, Louisiana? All right. 
All right, things are rolling here. Good start. No, not too good. Didn't execute well today. We've got some work to do tomorrow. All right, we'll get him to lock in. 11 pounds, one ounce. Hold a couple up for me. No, he says he's good. Anyone you want to say hello to or thank? Uh, all the friends, family back home watching. All right, we'll see you again. Give it up for Logan Latuso. Jacob Peroznik. Man, we saw that giant Phoenix Boats, a big bass of the tournament last week at the Harris Chain. Well, I think that was 10 and a half pounds, 10 pounds, 8 ounces. Do you have 10 pounds, 8 ounces in that bag right there? I think so, but I'd like to have him this, or had her this week. It would nearly double it, but yeah, you got that. Double digits for sure. Watch the scales, folks. 13 pounds, 9 ounces. Hold a couple up. All right, you making a big long run, locking through, doing any of that stuff, or sticking right here around Palaka? No, I'm just fishing really slow. You know, still a lot of fish still, still trying to spawn, and, you know, I love sight fishing. And uh, But I had some really good topwater action this morning. It was fun. So caught a lot of fish, go out there tomorrow, and, you know, that's a good start. You know, I mean, the, the weights are not, I mean, they're, they're going to be good, but that's probably going to be about meteor. So uh, just hang tight tomorrow and hopefully make a big push on that uh, on Saturday. Keep it rolling. Good job. Greg De Palma from Millville, New Jersey. One of our fine anglers from up there in the Northeast. How'd it go for Greg? Not too bad, good start. All right, let's go ahead and get him on. Yeah, Lisa's wrapping him up. Lock him in, 15 pounds even. Hold a couple up and then we'll talk to you, Greg. All right, you putting those Dakota lithium batteries to work, uh, moving around a lot, or are you just sitting in one spot to, uh, with a helmet bird and, and getting it done that way? No, I'm putting the trolling motor down, and I'm just, I'm just yearning around real slow and just looking for them and just picking one off here, one off there. and It's a good start. You know, the St. John's has always been really good to me. So hopefully this week we can keep it going. All right, give it up for Greg, and we'll welcome our next angler, another Northeastern guy from Hall, town of the Hall of Fame, the Baseball Hall of Fame, Cooperstown, New York, Kyle Patrick. Having an outstanding season so far. A little tougher for you today, but there's a lot of big ones swimming around out there. Yeah, a lot tougher. Caught a three-pounder to help me out a ton. Um, you know, just before I came in, that was huge. Lost a big one, but I'm just happy to be here on the Elite Series. I mean, I, every day I wake up and I'm just thrilled to do what we do, you know, and, um, you know, Obviously not the bag I wanted, but hopefully go out tomorrow and catch him. Real cool story for Kyle. Started fishing as a co-angler, worked his way up to the pro division, and here he is, a Bassmaster Elite Series angler. Give him a big round of applause. Kyle Patrick, well done. Greg Hackney, he's no stranger to big-time bass fishing. Loves himself some sight fishing and shallow water action and uh i heard you say out back you thought about 16 i don't know i'm thinking bigger maybe i don't know i hope so sandbagger i, I thought i'd big at him a little bit we'll get a weight on him settling down on the scales 19 pounds and five ounces about 16 he said Hope so. I'm glad to have that. Uh, this place is fishing a little challenging right now, so that big bite went a long ways. New big Phoenix Boats Big Bass at 6 pounds, 11 ounces, raising that bar. Great job, Greg. We'll see you tomorrow. I want you to welcome to the stage. Come on up. Everyone knows this guy, Matt Robertson. All right, Matty. Show me what you got. By that, I mean the fish. Oh, yeah, we got more than we had last week, man. Bob Downey wasn't even here, and he almost beat me. All right, go ahead and get Matt started. 13 pounds, 9 ounces. Hold a couple of those up. All right, we're getting things back on track, I think, uh, Matt. This is just the start of it, man. I'm going to watch you climb that, that progressive angler of the year leaderboard all year long. I know it. Yeah, I've never started out good. You know, I've always started out in the hole after after the first two. And uh, so 
we went three this time hopefully we're digging ourselves out and uh see if we can't make the classic gonna have to make a heck of a run at it gotta give kyle patrick a shout out in the lock today boy brought a big old bag of sour patch kids so let me tell you <laughs> something son i we passed him around from one side of the lock all the way to the other grabbing a handful he's a good kid so are you matt great job give him a big round of applause come on up drew cook Drew's got him. How we doing, man? Um, not, not that great, but for the the three hours that we got to fish today, I guess we'll, we'll take it. All right, we'll go ahead and get you started. Got a long day tomorrow. 10 pounds, 14 ounces. You want to hold a couple up? No. Nah. He's good. We'll see you. Thank you. Appreciate you. Give Drew Kick a big round of applause as he exits. For a winner, winner on the Bassmaster Elite Series, come on up, Jason Williamson from Aiken, South Carolina. What's Mercer call you, the Tower of Power? Yeah, but there wasn't much power today. <laughs> All right, we'll go ahead and get you started. Got another day tomorrow, full field, 103 anglers, 9 pounds, 1 ounce. Yeah, it was a tough day, but it's a start. You know, on this place, you can go out there and swing tomorrow and catch 20, 25 pounds. So we're going to go out there with open mind and fish clean and try to catch a big bag. And you know how to host those blue trophies. Give Jason a big round of applause. From Mark Carmel, Tennessee, come on up, David Mullins. All right, David, coming on up here. You doing all right? Yeah, good. How are you? I'm well. We'll go ahead and get a weight on these fish. You got some johns, he says, 7 pounds, 11 ounces. A tough day, but, man, you are a fantastic angler. I know I see you with a big bag tomorrow. Yeah, we're going to have to make some adjustments. I actually called to get a 7-Eleven, so hopefully tomorrow we get some three-pounders. All right, thank you, David. Give him a big round of applause. Okay, here he comes. Mercury Pro from DeBerry, Florida. Come on up, John Cox. All right, I was watching you on live, man. I was just waiting for you to bow, bow up on that 10-pounder. It didn't happen, though, did it? No, I let it get the best of me, and uh, I don't know. I, I, You know, I should just go fishing tomorrow and, and you know, try to make the cut, but uh, I'm going to go straight back to her and spend all day on her again. 13 pounds, 7 ounces, respectable start for John Cox. A hammer wherever we go, but certainly, certainly in uh, Florida. We're going to go ahead and try Phoenix Boats Big Bass. We're looking for 6-3 to try Hackney, 6-4 to take the lead. Phoenix Boats Big Bass, 5-11, worth the shot, worth the shot. Go get them tomorrow, John. All right, thanks. Yeah, I really appreciate that we get to come out here. I'd like to thank the tourism and everything, my wife and uh, father-in-law, Len, coming out. And, uh, man, maybe we'll get them tomorrow. Are you staying at home or are you, making the, you, or are you staying here in town? Yeah, I'm, I'm staying at home. It's, a, it's about 80 miles, but, uh, you know, I get to sleep in my own bed for a, at least uh, two weeks out of the year. I know, it's a rarity. Give John a big round of applause. Awesome job. All right, former Bass Nation champ all the way from Hawaii. Come on up, Matty Wong. All right, man, that's a great start right there, Matty. Well done. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, practice was tough, and um, figured a little thing out yesterday and went back and managed to get a good bite, so I'm pumped. 14 pounds, 8 ounces. All right, that's a good one. 6'3", six, 6'3". Three, six, three. Right now is the Phoenix Boats Big Bash. You want to give that one a shot? Yeah, I think it might be a little, little short, but we can try to fit. He says no. All right, you got more in you tomorrow? Yeah, uh, I hope, man. Um, it's, it's a little bit of uh, running all over. Probably a five and a half. Yeah. yeah it, was, it was worth a try. Five pounds, nine ounces. All right, we'll be safe. Long day tomorrow. We'll see you with a big bag. Yeah, hopefully. I just want to give a special thank you to everyone that supports me, everyone that came out to support everyone on all the anglers. You guys got to give yourselves a round of applause. Everyone back in Hawaii and on the West Coast, aloha, you guys. All right, a lot of great former Bass Nation champs out there. Maddie's certainly one of them. All right, how about from Noonan, Georgia, Mark Frazier. All right, man, it's been a while since we've been up here together, Matt. Good to, or <laughs> Mark, sorry to see you. How are you doing? How'd it go today? Uh, it went all right. I, I uh, just bounced around and, and uh, caught more than I thought I could. So. All right, 13 pounds, 2 ounces. Let's get a photo real quick. Got our bass photographers working out here hard in the sun. Stay, hey guys, stay hydrated. I warned you earlier. All right, good job, Mark. Longer day tomorrow, that gonna help you? Gonna make some changes or are you just gonna run the same game plan? 
Well, try to run the same game. Uh, I, I mean, I, I would think that it's going to help me. Um, I wasn't able to hit a lot of stretches uh, because of the time frame. So um, hopefully there's an evening bite that I missed out on today. Awesome. Great job. Give it up for Mark. All right. How about a 2017 College Bass champion from Charleston, Tennessee, Jacob Fouts? Hey, Jacob. How are you, man? It looks like you're, good. you're doing good. I'm good, man. I'm hot. It's hot out here. All right, he's got a great start. Great start. 17 pounds, 11 ounces. Jacob all the way up to second place. Yeah, give the show man a round of applause. Look at here on my cheat screen. It says six top tens in your career so far. That's awesome. Yeah, that's, uh, we're trying out another one here this week, man. Had a, had a rough practice, just kind of stumbled into him today, caught a bunch of fish, but uh, looking forward to getting back out there tomorrow, see if we can't go a little bigger. Awesome. Good job. Appreciate you, Jake. Jacob. We'll see you tomorrow from Huntington, Texas. Longtime Elite Series pro, Keith Combs. All right, Keith, man. How, how's it going? It was a little bit tough out there. I, maybe I survived the day, but I got some work to do tomorrow. All right, yeah, I mean, that's going to keep you in the hunt. These uh, double-digit bags are going to keep people around 11 pounds, 12 ounces. You're just one 10-pounder away from jumping way up the standings. 11 pounds, 12 ounces going to have Keith Combs all the way up into 11th place right now. Give him a round of applause. Got him himself a century belt in the past. Not sure we're going to see any this week. This is not the St. John's that uh, we see, you know, earlier in the year. It's a, it, you know, they don't have all those big betting fish, but... You, you know, like I said, you're just one bite away from really propelling up the standings. Yeah, I thought I could catch a couple good ones today. It just really, uh, it was a little bit different than practice, no doubt about it. Uh, for, Florida fish are fickle, and sometimes they change, and you really don't know why. But I'm around some fish. I think I can recover tomorrow. Awesome. Great job. Give it up for Keith. All right. How about a Florida angler? He's been around this business for a while as well. Come on up, Kobe Krieger. Hey, Kobe. How you doing, Chris? I'm well. Yourself? Not too bad. I didn't expect to see you up here. Surprise! A lot of people probably didn't expect me see up here. Me be up here either today. <laughs> no, I expected to see you up here. Very respectable start. 17 pounds, 14 ounces. Kobe moves up into second place. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, you got it. Right now, Phoenix Boats, Big Bass, 6-3. Sweated a little in my eye. Imagine that, huh? It's hot out here. It's tough out here. Seven pounds, two ounces of new Phoenix Boats, Big Bass. All right, the folks all, look at all these folks out here. They came here to hear, Kobe, what did you catch that fish on? I uh, caught on a uh, gambler, uh, why not? Uh, caught it off the bedside fishing the first fish this morning. I fished for three hours and then decided I better get down to business and caught that fish at 10 o'clock and then, you know, proceeded to fill my limit. But uh, it's tough. Um, I was hoping to go fishing, not sight fishing, but we'll have to see what happens tomorrow. That's what he needed, though. Great job. Give it up for Kobe. All right. He's hot off a top 10 at the Harris Chain of Lakes. His third one, KJ Queen. Two-time Bassmaster Classic Qualifier. A little tougher for you today. I love the music, by the way, the Bassmaster. I appreciate it, man. Got to go old school. On them. Seven pounds, 13 ounces. Seven, 13. Man, it's a tough day today. There's no doubt about it. Them Florida people, they love the fish. That's all I can say. <laughs> Hit a little company, I guess, today, huh? All right, well, <laughs> all right. As he leaves the stage with nearly a half a million dollars in career winnings, come on up, Kenta Camara. Kenta's been one of the hottest anglers over the last few years. You keeping it rolling here today? Yeah, I mean, you know, only only one big bite all day, so. But that's what Florida fishing is. It's one or two big bites. It's, you know, people think it's easy when you come out here, and it is not. 12 pounds, 13 ounces. Kenta, hold one up. Nice job. Right now, 7-2. Seven, 7-2 two. Seven, two is Phoenix Boats Big Bass. He says no. We want to say hello to some folks, say some thank yous. Yeah, I want to say thanks for all my sponsors and the family watching. I guess they're watching this, and uh, you know, I I have I've been a pretty tough years, so trying to make a cut top fifty this one. 
All right, well, go get them. We get, we get, give you a long day tomorrow. First flight today, fourth flight tomorrow. Come on up, our reigning Dakota Lithium Rookie of the Year, Joey Sefuentes. All right, and he's got company with him, and we always love to see that. Who do we got here? We got uh, little Jovi and Stella, my two daughters. It's like uh, herding turtles around here. <laughs> All right, good, respectable start. 10 pounds, 7 ounces, 10-7. Want to hold one up, get a little family photo. We'll send them right over here if you don't mind, folks. Right there. All right, well, job, the cowboy. Going to have you sitting currently in 17th place, but uh, getting that double digits. And, again, just one bite away from really moving up that leaderboard. Yeah, I just didn't get it today. I need that big mama to bite. So maybe we'll get it tomorrow. Good job. Thank you, my friend. Appreciate you. How about, oh, golly, he's a hammer. He's back with the Bassmaster Elite Series. He's won two Bassmaster Classics. He has over a million dollars in career winnings from Coleman, Alabama, Jordan Lee. Welcome back, man. It was fun last week. Keep it rolling, man. Yeah, hair strain was good to me. Uh, St. John's hadn't been treating me the same, but we did decent today. We'll... Uh... Keep us in it anyway. 14 pounds, 2 ounces. Going to have him inside the top 10. Seventh place. I'll tell you, I've been, you've been probably here to Palaka a few times over the nine stops that we've had. This place generally draws a pretty darn good crowd on Saturday and Sunday. I know you'd love to be partying with all these great fans yeah you know the last time i was here was 2016 for uh bassmaster elite series and it, it's changed a lot i mean two short days of practice i didn't even get to you know go down and, and and get to see a lot of it but uh yeah it's a great place a lot of a lot of fishermen out here and uh yeah you're right it always draws a big crowd but yeah they're gonna they're gonna bring them in this week and it should be a fun week awesome look forward to seeing you hopefully on the weekend give it up for jordan lee all right, he's from Roseville, California. Makes the longest drive, I think, to these events. Come on up, Ryan Smith. How are we doing? Man, I'm enjoying this place. This place is incredible. All right, go ahead and get the weight. Good start for you. 12 pounds, one ounce. Hold a couple up. Let the fans give you the proper recognition with a big round of applause. All right, Bryant, you making a big long run with that Skeeter Yamaha? Or are you just kind of sticking around Palaka here? No, we made a little bit of a run. Uh, you know, this is only my third day on this place, so there's plenty of water to, to go run around in that Skeeter Yamaha, but uh, I'm going to go exploring tomorrow and see what happens. You know, you never there's so many big ones around here, you just got to run into them. Awesome job. Thank you. Appreciate you. From Zachary, Louisiana, come on up, Derek Hudnall had himself eight Bassmaster top tens approaching a half a million dollars in earnings I'd like to see you reach that this year well, I, I've made that much money I don't know where it's went so. <laughs> all right go ahead and get your weight 12 and a half pounds is it happy with that start uh, not really I didn't have a really good day I had um, just 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 a lot of a lot of missed opportunities today I'm, I'm pretty upset about today but caught a lot of fish um, there's a lot of things at home you know Whenever we travel like this, we, we miss out on a lot. So first of all, it's my, it's my wife's birthday today. Uh, happy birthday, Annie. She is at work. Um, and then we had a, my, my, my uncle died a couple of days ago, so I'm going to have to miss the funeral tomorrow, unfortunately. So if you guys won't mind, you know, we've got some pretty hurting people in our family right now. Just say a, a prayer for John Hudnall. I would appreciate it. But uh, so let's see what we can go do tomorrow. You got a lot of fans. They're all out there praying for him and your family. Thank you, Derek. All right, uh, how about uh, Florence L. Alabama's and a former ba or a for a Bassmaster winner? Come on up, Justin Atkins. You can't really take those things away. Once you win, you're not a former. You've won one. That's it. No, we, uh, we've got us one. I'm ready to get another one. All right, well, good, respectable start here. Yeah, no, it was a good day. We had a little game plan, and it all, you know, panned out pretty good. So, 15 pounds, 12 ounces inside the top 10, all the way up into fifth place. All right, well done, man. 
Anyone you want to say hello to or thank when we got this great crowd out here? Yeah, no. Uh, one person would be my dad. I can guarantee he's watching right now. So um, my wife and kids travel with me everywhere. So it's awesome. We had a good start. And last week was kind of tough. I'm ready to make up for it this week. You're good. Off to a good start. Congratulations. We'll see you again tomorrow. From Detroit Lakes, Minnesota, come on up by Team Rappelos of Bob Downey. All right, good to have Bob back, man. We missed you last week. Glad to have you here. Thanks, Chris. It was uh, it was worth it to be home for the birth of our uh, baby boy. So. Give him a big round of applause. All right. And that is your first child, I believe. Yeah, yeah, we're really excited about it. Uh, wife and baby are doing pretty good. A little sleep deprived, but uh, all in all, we're happy. All right, I think we'll give him a hall pass for that. What do you think, folks? And Bob's picking up right where he left off. Always a solid contender. All right, you enjoying the weather down here? It's a little different than probably at home. And yeah, it's a lot warmer, but it was beautiful. Beautiful day to run up and down that river. We had next to no wind, so we can move around really well. Had a decent day. Had a little bit of a flurry midday that got me up to 16 pounds. So got to go do it again tomorrow. Try and make that cut. Thanks, everyone. All right. Big round of applause for the Downey family, man. That's awesome. All right. From Bivens, Texas. Come on up. He's off hot off a top 10 down the road at Harris Chain. Come on up, Brad Watley. All right, Brad. Got a little tough today, it looks like, for you. But, uh, yeah, you're just five big bites away from being right back in this thing. Yeah, it was a tough day. I've got one big one in there, so we're going to have to try to get a few more of those tomorrow. All right, let's take a look at the big one. Brad caught a couple really big ones last week on the Harris Chain. All right, that's what I'm talking about. We're going to have to weigh that for the Phoenix Boats Big ba Bass. We're going to go ahead and put it in the Crush Shitty bag. What do you think? We're looking for 7-2 to tie. 7-3. Take the lead. 6-9. Definitely worth a try. Yeah, I mean, we'll go out tomorrow and try to get about three or four more of those and get back in this thing. Awesome. Give it up for Brad. Well done. As Brad leaves, we'll have uh, all the way from Canada, Ontario, Canada, come on up, Corey Johnson. Team Power Pole coming into the house. He got it debuted, I believe, talking about a lot on live here, debuted as we watched you go up the Bass Track leaderboard. Got your debut with the Bassmaster Elite Series right here in Palaka, Florida. Yeah, this place has been good to me. I, you know, I enjoy the crowd. I enjoy this place. So uh, hopefully it's good to me one more time. I believe it's been good to you at least one more time. 23 pounds and three ounces. Team Power Poles, Corey Johnson to the lead. All right. You see Chris out back at all? I've seen him on the water. How's he doing? He wasn't doing very good. Looks like he's buying dinner, huh? He's always buying dinner. <laughs> awesome. Well, hopefully you can do this again tomorrow. You get yourself into the weekend. And man, I would love to see you with this big, great crowd out here in Palaka, Florida on a Sunday afternoon. Yeah, that'd be great. Like I said, you know, this place is awesome. There's a lot of big fish, and uh, I'm excited to get back out there. But uh, I know my little guy. Uh, Luke is at home watching, so I got to say hi to him so he doesn't yell at me when I get home. Awesome. Good job, man. Awesome. Give Corey a big round of applause. Your new leader here at the Maxim Tire Bassmaster Elite Series here in Palaka Ford on the St. John's River. And as one Canadian exits, we'll welcome another Canadian. Come on up, Cooper Gallant. Y'all just rolling together back there, huh? How are you? Hey, man, I'm good luck for you, I think. I think when you won a Bassmaster tournament, I was emceeing. Are you back here tomorrow? I don't know. You're going to have to talk to Dave. Maybe you can buy him off or something. I'm going to try and convince him to let you back up here. 17 pounds and 9 ounces. Give Coop a big round of applause. Well done. The Canadians representing. All right. Running around in that... Nitro boat, uh, but y'all had some nice weather today. It's supposed to be like this all week. Is that good, bad, and different? Yeah, I don't really know. I think it's good. Um, they bit pretty good for me today, so if it, if it lays down, stays calm tomorrow and the sun's out, I'll be happy. But, man, that big one I just showed you guys, I literally shook it off in practice. I had a waypoint that said big one with, like, 30 Gs. 
And I wasn't sure if it was a big one, but I hooked her today, and it was a great big one. Sure is. How about seven pounds, five ounces, new Phoenix boats, big bass. Nice. After my finish last week on Harris Chain, I wasn't sure if I even knew how to catch a bass anymore, but uh, confidence is back up. Can't wait to get out tomorrow and hopefully catch another, you know, 17 to 25 pounds. We'll see what happens. Well, I'll see you somewhere tomorrow. I don't know where, Coop. Good job. Give him a round of applause. All right, one of the fabulous rookies we have here in 2023. He's from Clanton, Alabama, Wesley Gore. How we doing? Pretty good. Uh, much better day than any of the days we had last week. So. Yeah, I mean, you were rolling through those first two events. Last week, a little bit challenged. He's back on track, Wesley Gore. 17 pounds at 15 ounces. All right, man. I know you were disappointed last week, but it feels good to get back on track. I know that. Yeah, I think I knew a little bit too much last week, so I ended up running around. We're in Florida, and you can't really do that. I uh, I just put the trolling motor down and went fishing today, and that's what we call it. So we're going to see if we can do it again tomorrow. Awesome. Good job, Wesley. Whew. All right. Here we go. Here's our 2023 Bassmaster Opens EQ AOY champion fishing his rookie season jt tompkins all right tough tougher day he's been rolling he's rolling he doesn't even know what to say because he's never faced this in the whole season so far yeah i mean it's just one of those days that you you come across ever so often it's been a it's been a long time since i've had one of these days but um we're going to try to shake it off the best we can. We're going to pull the plug on everything we did today and go swing for the fence because I know where they're at, and I just I just made a, a small few errors, and that's that's just what happens, how fast it can happen, especially when the tides are a little bit weird. The wind's been blowing the bay out and in, and the tide's still rising right now, even though it's supposed to be falling three hours ago, and it's just changed a lot of stuff that I, I recognize and practice. So we're going to go out there tomorrow and see if we can you know put together a bag and you know, try to come back. I know you will. He's a force. Four pounds, six ounces today. As he leaves, we're going to have Ali Livesey come on up from Longview, Texas. Four-time Bassmaster Classic Qualifier. Four bass wins. N approaching that million-dollar mark. That's cool. We need to get there. All right. Get yourself a win this week. You'll move way up that leaderboard. 18 pounds and 8 ounces. What? I, so, Lee, I don't, I don't usually uh, read the notes. Because I, you know, usually I'm weighing in, and, and I don't have these notes when I do weigh-ins at the opens, but Mercer gets all this cool information, so I'm trying to, you know, navigate through it. What does five-time checker champion mean? What's that all about? That was in, like, fifth grade, and, and we, <laughs> we, we just put that on there to piss Caleb Summer all off because I beat him, like, 40 times at checkers in a row one time, and he flipped the coffee table and tackled me. So that's just to piss Caleb off. So how many fights have you had this week, and who has won the majority of them? I haven't fought any this week. I'm not a big fighter. I'm a lover, but I did see uh, Caleb Summerall rip Matt Robertson out of a truck and throw him in some bushes. Yeah, y'all are always doing that. You, you, you guys wrestling fans? Is that the deal? Uh, Matt and Caleb, man, uh, they're, they're big wrestling fans, not me. You know, I'm, a, I'm more of a, you know, a lover and a Whiskey Myers fan, a little whiskey lullaby or something like that, and a cold bush life. That's what I was going to say. You're more of a beer drinker. I get that. I'm right there with you. Good job. Give it up for Lee Livesey. All right, from Collinsville, Mississippi. Come on up, Brock Mosley. Brock got himself a win in 2023 on the Sabine River. And, man, after so many times being close, I, for one, you know, we're not, we're not supposed to be partial, but I was happy to see that, Brock. Yeah, it was, uh, it was a long time coming. Uh, it, was kinda, it was a fun week. Uh, it was one of them deals where, you know, I, I like those grinders and, to me, this one's a grinder. This place has my number. I'm 0 for 5 on being here and making a cut. So it's kind of gotten personal this week. So, uh, hey, if we can go out and catch them again tomorrow and make the cut, I'll be satisfied. You're well on track. Just shy of 16 pounds with 15, 13 for Brock Mosley. 
Oh, yeah, we're going to try that one for Phoenix Bucks with Big Bass right now, 7 5. No, a little skinny, huh? All right, Team Merkers, Brock Mosley, all the way up into 10th place. Yeah, hopefully we can go catch them again today because, I, I mean, I just kind of had another terrible practice and just put my head down and went fishing today and got one big bite and uh, saved my day. So uh, hopefully we can go do it again tomorrow. Good job, Brock. All right, this guy, this young angler, rookie angler, he's uh, from Union City, Tennessee. He needs a gigantic round of applause because just a few days ago, in Leesburg, Florida, he hosts the Big Blue Trophy. Give it up for John Garrett. I appreciate everybody. Thank you all. Really cool to see John pull that out. Today's weight, 10 pounds, 13 ounces. He says no, but man, how, I mean, what's going through your mind? Monday it was obviously championship Monday. You host that thing up. You know you got to drive right over here start practice but what I mean that's a short drive it's like an hour and a half but what's going through your mind when you're doing that I just it was surreal I, I couldn't believe what happened I, I mean I said it last week it's a dream of mine to even be on this platform and to to win one of these tournaments it it doesn't seem real yet it hasn't sunk in because we had to come here and start practice um but yeah tough day today um these guys really called them way better than everybody thought they would and uh yeah we'll go see some new water tomorrow and see if we can climb up a leaderboard Awesome. Give it up for John. Well done, my friend. Appreciate you. All right. He's leading our progressive anger of the year race on the Bassmaster Elite Series. He's leading our Dakota Lithium Rookie of the Year race. How about this young man? 19 years old. Had a win earlier this year. Trey McKinney. What's going on, guys? Watched him on Bassmaster Live today. It was awesome throwing. Oh, I'm not going to tell him what you're throwing. Throwing some baits. I'll let him say it. But it was cool to watch. 20 pounds, 14 ounces for Trey. I'll let you spill the beans if you want. I almost slipped up. But it was cool. It was cool to watch. Absolutely. I think I'll hold off a little bit um, on, on that part of it. But today, you know, on practice, I was not expecting it at all. I was, like, shook up this morning. I really didn't know what was going to go on, what if I was going to catch any. So today was kind of a nervous day till we got the first bite. Then I was like, is this going to work? And then we kept running. We kind of ran off instinct a little bit, hit some spots, saved a little, went kind of practicing too. So tomorrow's going to be an interesting day. I don't know if they're going to bite. Don't know what they're going to do. So it, it's, we'll see tomorrow, see what happens, and see if we get the right bites. What a poise, young man. Give it up for Trey, keeping it rolling there. All right, another young angler from Blue Ash, Ohio. Come on up, Alex, our red one. Hey, Alex, good to see you, my friend. Things going all right? Yeah, they're doing good, hanging out here in Florida. April this time around, so it's a little bit different. And here we are again in Placa. It's definitely hotter. Oh, I'll tell you that for sure. All right, Alex, five fish, 14 pounds, two ounces. Very good start. All right. All right, feeling good about tomorrow? Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I mean, I kind of got lucky and they came up school, and so I was able to capitalize on it. Uh, this place is just kind of neat. You know, I think three years ago, uh, my first ever Bassmaster Elite Series tournament was right here, and here we are back again. Um, looking forward to getting back out there tomorrow. Hopefully we can wrangle up a few and kind of just stay consistent. You know, I mean, this place has a lot of big ones, big fish to be caught, and hopefully we can just stay in the mix somehow. Love to see you on the weekend. Good job. Give it up for Alec. All right, Matt Airy from Shelby, North Carolina, Team Toyota. Five Bassmaster Classics, including this year. Those classics are fun, aren't they? I tell you what, man, and I'm never taking one for granted. Been uh, been wanting to fish one since I was a kid. We fished the last five, and uh, man, I hope uh, I hope we can continue the streak for next year. It's gonna. This is gonna help keep that rolling. 21 pounds, even Matt Airy up into second place. Got to ask you a question. Oh, we're gonna go ahead and get a, we're gonna go ahead and get a, that in the Crush City uh, 
weigh-in bag. Go ahead and get a big bass weighed on it. Phoenix Boats Big Bass. 7-1, that's a good one, man. Yeah, it was, man. We started off early and caught a limit maybe for 10 or 11 pounds and then uh, got lucky and uh, were able to call up with a couple of big ones later on. I did not get a bite, however, after about 1 o'clock. The tide got a little wacky on me, and uh, tomorrow I'm going to try to pay a little bit closer attention to it and, uh, you know, figure out my game plan accordingly. So hopefully tomorrow we can come across another 7-pounder because that's the key here in Florida. Go get rigged up for tomorrow. Thank you, Matt. Give him a round of applause. All right, one of our few anglers from up there in the upper uh, Midwest from Eden Perry, Minnesota, Austin Felix. All right, how we doing, all right? <laughs> I'll let that bag speak for itself. It's tougher day for you. Yeah, we're just going to have to start from scratch, I'm pretty sure. Today's weight, 6 pounds, 13 ounces. Yeah, you got some work to do, but uh, you're a great angler. I know you can get it done. Yeah, we'll just drive the other direction and do something different. All right, I like it. Give it up for Austin from Belton, Texas. A Frank Talley won himself a Bassmaster Elite uh, Big Blue Trophy 2020 Gunnersville Elite. Man, you are looking slimmer every time I see you, man. I'm jealous. You got to get me on the program. Uh, uh, the wife's got me on a diet. You know. That family, the amazing Taylor family, love those folks. 13 pounds and 10 ounces. Going to have inside the top 20, up into 18th place. Awesome. Good start. Going to keep you right around uh, that, probably that uh, Saturday you know, semifinal Saturday cut uh, with this weight. So keep it rolling. Yeah, I appreciate it, Chris. We just got to catch him again tomorrow. It's always seems to be one day, but not the next. So we'll see what happens. 20 pounds tomorrow for me, Frank. Okay. How about uh, Colgate, Oklahoma's Luke Palmer? He won himself a Bassmaster Elite Series event last year on Santee Cooper. Got himself a five fish limit. How'd it go, Luke? I was the struggle for Sayer today for me, but you know, you, everything, you just got to keep at it and everything happens. Just so tomorrow I got to go out, catch me a bag and move back in this thing, get it going. 13 and a half pounds for Luca to have him 21st place. We've made, we've weighed 39 anglers. So you're hanging right around that 13, 14 pounds is going to be about where it's at. I think for per day, obviously. All right. Y'all know this guy. You might've saw him in Tulsa, Oklahoma about a month ago. He's from Northport, Alabama. Come on up, our 2024 Bass Pro Shops Bassmaster Classic presented by Jockey Outdoors champion, Justin Hamner. That never gets old, does it? No, it don't. I still ain't used to it either. <laughs> we definitely didn't win the Classic today, though. All right. We'll save it for the big ones, I guess, right? Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, I actually had five pounds. Five pounds, nine ounces. You hold it up. He wants to hold it up. Hey, man, he's a classic champ. We let him do anything he wants. <laughs> All right. We're going to go ahead and, uh, you know, finish out. We got still after today, three more days. Hopefully we'll see you all three, three days, the remaining days. And then you probably get a little chance to kind of decompress and really think about how everything has transpired over the last month or so. Yeah, I hope so. Yeah, it's been such a whirlwind. Haven't really got to slow down any, but... Uh... Good thing we're in Florida because we can actually make a comeback here because there's some yeah. giants, and I didn't find them today, but uh, potential's out there. I love it. I want to see you up here with a big bag tomorrow. All right. How about Tyler Ravette from Raceland, Louisiana? Three-time classic qualifier. He won last year again. So many guys just got their wins uh, last year, 2023. The Okeechobee Elite, that was a big monkey off the bat, wasn't it? It was nice. I like that. I could do it again this year. That'd be nice. 12 pounds, 14 ounces, 12, 14. Hold a couple up and give Tyler a big round of applause. All right, you got the family here this week? Oh, yeah. They always here. You know that. I know. I love seeing them. I'm where are they? Oh, beer tent. No, I'm not kidding. <laughs> That's where I'm about to be. <laughs> All right. Good start. We'll see you tomorrow. Give it up for Tyler. Ah. Hey, we know this hammer. He's from Dry Creek, Oklahoma. Scares me when he comes up. Here's Team Skeeter Yamaha's Jason Christie. All right. Had a great week. Top 10 last week. Going to get it done again this week. 
Yeah, I, mean, I don't know. I obviously scared the fish. I wasn't around very many today. 12 pounds, one ounce. Want to hold a couple up? We'll get some photos and we'll talk to Jason real quick. Of course, he won the 2022 Bassmaster Classic. Uh, all right, you like these back-to-back -back events, uh, you, and do you like coming to Florida a little bit later than we normally do? I do like coming to Florida. Everything's more consistent. I love the back-to-back -back events. You know, it gives me more time to deer hunt, which I love that. Uh, but, you know, this this place, the first time I ever came here, I made the top 10, and I was like, oh, I got this, this place's number. And since then, it's just, it's got my number. I, I fished around a lot of guys that caught them today, but I sure didn't catch them. All right, well, we'll see you again tomorrow, and hopefully over the weekend, all right, I know you're going to get loud because it is his 500th Bassmaster Tournament. He's won here twice in 2019 and 2016. The living legend, Mr. Rick Klun. Go ahead and get a weight. I know Rick always likes to get the weight. We, we do the business first, and then we do the talking, right? Good start, 12 pounds, 12 ounces. Uh, better, a lot better than I was doing in practice. No. Hold, hold. Good. No, no fish. Thanks. Uh, anyway, no, it's, uh, uh, yeah, I felt good today. I, I got on some fish today and I, I think I can progress on that tomorrow and just, you know, hopefully get around a couple of good ones. Yeah. I mean, we watch you on live. It's, it's tremendous to watch. Uh, I mean, so many people, including myself have grown up watching you have so much success. You know, back in the day, as well as recently, spe spe specifically right here in Palaka, Florida. So it's been a tremendous. We're going to watch it. Every day you're out there on the water, Bassmaster is committed to have a camera on you. And that's going to be awesome for the fans to watch. I appreciate you and you all as well. Thank you. All right. Give uh, Mr. Klon, Team Bass Pro Shops, Rick Klon, a big round of applause. A true living legend from Leesville, South Carolina. He won right here in Palaka, Florida. I believe it was the first Bassmaster Elite Series event that he ever fished. Here's Brian New. Here I am. <laughs> yeah, when it when it's going good, it goes good. When it goes bad, it keeps on going bad. I, uh, you know, I'm working as hard as I ever have. I've got the best equipment out there. I just, just not catching them. You know, uh, try to live right, try to work hard, keep on keeping on. I, I was trying to find me a lock to go fish in, but just couldn't find <laughs> one. And uh, you know, I, I hear they bite in there pretty good, but. Uh, lock tuner told me I couldn't fish in there. So. Oh, I hate it when that happens. Well, you're going to turn it around real quick. You got, we're, not, we're only about halfway, not even halfway through the season. So Brian's got a lot more fishing to, ahead of him, but he does have to start turning it around or miss that classic cut. Come on up from Gunnersville, Alabama, another Team Toyota member. Always got some fun stuff to say. Come on up, Gerald Swindle. All right, how we doing, Oh, not good. I ain't got before. I got two good ones and two little medium cheesesteaks in there. All right, get away. We'll have you hold a couple up. 14 pounds, 13 ounces. Woo! That number five would have. Around the right bites. Definitely around the right bites for sure. Right now we're looking at 7.5. Seven, 7.5. Five. Seven, five. He won't do it, but just because. Let's try. I ain't caught one much all year. We might as well. Just my mom's watching. She said, hey, he made it to the scales. <laughs> we'll go ahead and get a Phoenix Boats big bass weight on that. Six pounds in an ounce. Six pounder right there. I just didn't execute well, Chris. Uh, the the Pilaki River, she's pretty rough on me sometimes when you think you got to figure it out. And, that, and I figured out today what that crack in them lily pads is. I don't know if y'all ever know what that really is. That's Satan's butthole, I tell you, because it's his butt crack. Because when your bait gets in there, you're saying dirty words to make you go straight down, I'm telling you. And no matter where you throw it, it gets in that crack. I don't know how it does it. You can throw it out in front of the grass, and it'll jump over in the crack. I'm like, that don't make any sense. The crack ain't even facing me. I've pulled through more cracks today. I, I felt like I was doing some inspection in a hardcore prison today. I said, I'm tired of looking at cracks, guys. I just need some bites. And I didn't get a lot of bites, Chris. I really uh, boogered up a great big one trying to land him, and... Lucky to catch what I got. I got to kind of regroup, and I got to figure the tide out, study a little bit more today, and, and try to make a good decision tomorrow. But despite being short, one short of limit, man, you're right there in the hunt at 14 pounds, and that's great. Where's Mercer at? Did you get mad at him? Kick no. Him? Did you, were you on the dock this morning? He didn't sound quite right, did he? He's been fighting it. I think a bunch of us, uh, my wife and I are still sick a month later after the Classic. I don't know 
what we caught down there, but everybody's sick, and I know Dave's been getting IVs, so it's pretty rough, whatever it is. My wife's coughed so much, I think she's bruised a rib. I've got to get a check just to pay for all the urgent care visits and then since we've been in Florida. <laughs> well, we're hoping Dave's back tomorrow or certainly over the weekend. Give it up for Gerald Swindle. Always fun to be around. All right, this guy won a 2014 Bass Open. He's from DeWitt, Michigan. Come on up, Chad Pipkins. Hey, Chad. Hey, how you doing, guys? I'm well. How are you doing? Pretty good, minus a big fish catch. Got caught quite a few fish. Just need to get one of those big bites. And that's what it takes down here in Florida, one or two of those big bites. Today's weight, just shy of double digits, 9 pounds, 10 ounces. Good. Well, yeah, we got we to get after tomorrow. The, the weights aren't going down. This place has got some fish, so we're going to go have some fun tomorrow and put uh, three or four big ones in the boat and uh, see what we can do. I know you will. Give it up for Chad. All right, he's from Newport, New York. Come on up, Bass Pro Shops, Jamie Hartman. All right, Jamie. How'd things go for you, man? I know you love this uh, grass fishing. Boy, it's something, man. It's up my alley, but gosh, it's a grind. It is a straight-up grind. All right. Good start for Jamie, though. 15 pounds, 12 ounces inside the top 15, all the way up in the 13th place. And we've weighed about half this field. With the tide always moving around, Jamie, I imagine you're taking that nitro mercury and moving around quite a bit, or are you just settling down into one area? No, I'm moving around quite a bit. I'm still searching and searching, trying to find a, where I can get them big bites. You know, that that one last day of practice would have been all right. I would have found some more, but hey, man, I'm getting out there, and I'm if I can just put them all in the boat, man. I get a lot of bites per day, but I am not hooking them all and getting them in the boat, so I'm thankful to have what I have, and... Uh, I want to say hello to my mom that came from awesome. North Carolina. My girl came from all the way from Arkansas. So I love the support, man. Thank you. And you need that. Awesome. Great job, Jamie. Give him a big round of applause. All right, our 2019 Elite Champion on Lake 10 Killer. Come on up. He's from Queensland, Australia. Carl Jockamson. How are we doing, Carl? Not too bad. Got a limit. Just uh, kept myself in the hunt. This is Florida. I haven't, I haven't had a real big bite in Florida yet. And, uh, Hopefully tomorrow is that time I get it, yeah. 12 pounds, 6 ounces, 12.6. Going to have you sitting in 31st place right now. Yeah, give it up for Carl. All right, you're just, like you said, you know, one big bite away from, uh, you know, that 18, 20-pound bag, and that's all he takes here. Yep, that's what it's going to take. I love fishing the St. John's. You know, one of, one of the first years I came down here, it's been tough for me to figure out, but I've had a good one, had a few bad ones, locked into Rodman, caught my fish, come back out, made a couple upgrades, but just need that one big bite tomorrow. Appreciate it, everyone. Good job, Carl. All right, uh, from South Florida, Clewiston, Florida specifically, put your hands together to, for Skeeter Yamaha Pro, Scott Martin. How are you doing, Scott? Hey, I'm good. How are you doing, Chris? I'm well. Good to have you here. Appreciate you coming. <laughs> hey, I had nothing better to do, right? You know, just come hang out at the St. John's. Beautiful plaque. It was, uh, it was a decent day. All right, let's go ahead and get a weight. Boom. 16 pounds and two ounces. Going to have them in 11th place. Hold a couple up. All right, looks like you're a very respectable start. You happy with this based upon your practice? Yeah, I mean, what, what, practice, we only had a couple of days. I don't know, I barely remember it. Everything's been a blur, but yeah, you know, here's the deal with the St. John's. Tremendous fishery, obviously, but very fickle depending on the tide and the weather conditions. So there's times where they bite and times where they don't. I haven't quite got it figured out yet, but we're working on it. So we're doing a little bit better each time we come up here. Hopefully tomorrow I can catch a good bag in the morning and see what we can learn in the afternoon. All right, look forward to seeing that. Give it up for... One more thing. I'm going to hang out at the Dakota Lithium booth, guys, and I did bring some hats. So I'm going to hang out in some sun, some autographs, and just kind of chill. All right, man. We love our friends at Dakota Lithium. Get on over there. They're going to be here all weekend, I believe. So Stormy and the group going to be here all weekend, Stormy? All right. He gives me a thumbs up, and I'm sure they'll have some stuff for the fans. All right. Here he is, a two-time Bassmaster, a classic champion, 2020 and 21, back-to-back -back Hank Cherry. Boy, what a day. It was nice and hot. No big ones, but had a lot of fun. It was warm, for sure. It's going to get warmer, I think, as the weekend progresses. 
I need, I, I don't know. Maybe maybe that's what I need to get a little bit hotter. Maybe, maybe I can catch one big one. All right. Hey, thanks for coming out. Veterans, yep. support, military, whatever you do, appreciate it. We can chase these fish because you guys Thank put you. your life on the line. Much respect to what you do. Uh, hats off, and maybe tomorrow I'll bring something worthy of you to come back to the stage. And, and much respect for what you do to always recognize uh, those military folks up here, women and women that protect our rights. We appreciate that, too. Thank you. All right. Here he is, the 2018 Dakota Lithium Rookie of the Year. Come on up, Jacob Whitaker, Henderson, North Carolina. He Hendersonville, North Carolina, he calls home. He's approaching that half million dollar in earnings, uh, Mark. That's kind of cool. Yeah, that is cool. Good start for him today. 20 pounds at six ounces. Going to move him up inside the top five into fourth place. Oh, my. We could have a new Phoenix Boats, a big bass. We're going to try it. Looking for 7-5 to tie. 7-6 to take the lead. Put it in the crushed shady bag and here we go, settling down. It's a big fish, it's a fatter fish than we've seen. Seven pounds at 15 ounces, there it is. Ooh, that's nice. Yeah, man, when I got that fish in, I, I think I shook for like 10 minutes after that. I really couldn't even cast or do whatever because, man, we, you know in Florida, you gotta have one of those big ones to, to get your weight up there and uh, Luckily, was able to fill my lemon out with some decent fish, and, uh, you know, hopefully we can do that again tomorrow. So it's, it's not easy out there, but they're out there for us to catch. So we'll get them tomorrow. Awesome. Great job, Jake. Give him a big round of applause. All right. Here he is. He's from Calhoun, Tennessee. Come on up. Cole Sands, 2020 Bassmaster College Series champion. How are you doing, Cole? I'm uh, doing all right. All right. A little tough day, it sounds like, from your voice. Yeah, man, it was, a, it was a really tough day. I had a good practice, uh, but uh, today was really tough on me. Today's weight for you, 8 pounds, 12 ounces, 8.12. Yeah, man, you know, I uh, just want to thank all my sponsors. I'm actually happy to have five. I didn't have a fish at 145. I had to catch everything the last uh, two hours, but I'm um, going to have to catch about 20 pounds tomorrow, but this is a lake you can do it, so look forward to getting out there, and hopefully my time will be right, and uh, I'll go catch them. Good job, Cole. Appreciate you. Give them a big round of applause. All right, two-time Elite Series champion. He is from Connecticut. Come on up, Paul Mueller. How we doing, Paul? Oh, we're doing all right. All right. Day, uh, salvaged a, uh, a train wreck. I didn't catch him the way I thought I was going to catch him. So, uh, 14 pounds, 3 ounces. Doesn't want to hold any up. No, no 7-pounders. We need, we need one of those big 7-pounders. Uh, Man, it was tough. I had I thought I was gonna do good, and um, you know, I had a bunch of sight fish, and they left. I've never had so many big sight fish found, and them all leaving in in one tournament my whole life. So I got that going for me. I just went fishing, and uh, you know, got that. So uh, we're gonna have to change up tomorrow. Hopefully, get enough to make day three. All right, you know how to win these events. I'm sure you'll do great tomorrow. Come on up, David Gaston. David, I think you fished your uh, first Bassmaster Classic just uh, about a month ago. How was that experience for you? That was a good time. That was a great experience, and I hope I get back one day. All right, hopefully in uh, 2025. I hope so, but I don't know about after today. <laughs> today, double digits, though, 10 pounds and 4 ounces, 10-4. Thank you. All right, 10-4, good buddy. All right, come on up. Another fine young angler of Bass Pro Shop representative. Come on up, Cody Huff. All right, came through the college ranks, won the 2019 College uh, Bass Classic uh, fish off, and uh, got himself five good ones today. Yeah, not a bad day, not a not a great start, but uh, we didn't lose it today, so that's good news. Hopefully, we can catch us a few more tomorrow. Hold a couple up, 13 pounds, six ounces, going to have him inside the top 30, 28th place. Uh oh, fell on the mat. We're good. Yeah, so not a bad day today. Good start to the tournament. Uh, hopefully we can go out tomorrow and get a few bites. Just trying to learn a little bit every day. I know you will. Good job. All right, here he is, a former Bassmaster Progressive 
Anger of the Year. Come on up. Clark Wendell it. How are we doing, Clark? I'm doing well. How are you? I'm excellent, man. Okay. I mean, how you're, you're in Florida. It's, you know, nice and beautiful. We got a great group of f- friends out here. Yeah, it's, I mean, and it's a super place to fish. 13 pounds, two ounces. Hold a couple up. We'll talk to Clark a little bit. Golly. I remember this gentleman on a Kellogg's box in the past. I mean, that's how famous he is. That's a very few people have... Very few people have, 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 have that on their resume. Yeah, that's true. That's just kind of one of those things that happened way back, and uh, St. John's is a great place to be. Good job. Appreciate you. We'll see you again tomorrow. Give it up for Clark Wendelin from Brookville, Indiana. Come on up. Dollar Bill Lowen. See, I even went with the Mercer's dollar bill because I know we got these great fans out here. You know, if they didn't hear that, they'd think something's wrong. Oh, I hear you. Good start for you. Bill, watch the scales. Really great start for Bill. 19 pounds and four ounces. Going to have him inside the top 10. All right, yeah. That's more like it. That's the Bill Lowen that I know, man. Not, no offense, but not the one I see over at that trailer right there on the Saturdays. You know, I don't like hanging out over there, but <clears throat> excuse me. Those are the biggest fish I've caught all week, even from last week when we've been in Florida. So I figured out a little deal today, and hopefully we can just keep running and gunning that Express and that Yamaha and go out there tomorrow and catch another big bag. But I'm having fun fishing the way I like to fish, and at the end of the day, when you're doing that, you can't complain. Thank everybody for coming out, and we'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, we're probably not going to see Bill over there, but there'll be a lot of the great uh, Yamaha pros over there uh, throughout the uh, Expo on Saturday and Sunday. A lot of great activities. The, uh, Palaka and Putnam County has a lot of events planned for Saturday and Sunday, so be sure to get out here. All right, how about Shane LaHue? All right, Shane. How'd it go for you today? Uh, not too good. <laughs> All right. I appreciate your honesty. Oh, man. You're the 2007 Junior World Champion. That was a very long time ago. It was a few years ago. Yeah. All right. Let's go ahead. You want to hold no? All right. So what, what are you going to do different tomorrow? Um, hopefully land them all. I actually had some good bite. This was the best worst day I've ever had on the St. John's, so, which is positive. Um, usually I don't do well that, that well here, so uh, maybe tomorrow we'll, we'll make a turnaround and land five big ones. I know you will. Give it up for Shane. Shane leaves. We're going to have Brandon Cobb. Got himself a century belt in the books. Along with wins on Fork and Hot Hartwell. Was that back-to-back, Lisa? I forget. Was that back-to-back, those wins, or just the same year? There's one between them. When- oh, one in between them. Ah, that darn. Poorly there. Very poorly there. <laughs> All right. Okay start here today. Not great, not terrible. Yeah, I got one Florida bite and four little babies. So. <laughs> All right. Did you have to measure any of those? Uh, four of them. <laughs> All right, 12 ounce, seven ounces. He's going to hold a few up and put your hands together for Brandon Cobb. All right, you got another day tomorrow, maybe a little bit longer day. Looks like you're probably uh, the second flight, so third flight tomorrow. Yeah, that uh, that big one was the first fish I caught, and I thought it was going to be a really, really good day, and I pretty much scratched out the other four. Kind of have to change it up tomorrow. I, I think I was kind of fishing for fish that bit in the afternoon at the right tide and never got there today. So we'll see if tomorrow they might bite a little better and see what we can do. We look forward to seeing you. Give them a big round of applause. How about a two-time Bassmaster Elite Series winner? Come on up from Chattanooga, Tennessee, Buddy Gross. All right, buddy. What do you say? Oh, I'm just trying to figure out how to catch a fish. It's been a while. Would you ask me? I didn't know. I thought that you sounded kind of funny. I thought Mercer was up here. So he got kidnapped. You didn't hear that? No, no. Okay. Not real. Not real. Fake news. Fake news. All right. Five fish today for buddy. 13 pounds, seven ounces. That work for you? Hold a couple up and then we'll talk. No, in all seriousness, if, if, if 
tuned in late and you're wondering where Mercer is, uh, he was not, uh, you could tell at the dock this morning, his voice was a little raspy. He wasn't feeling quite himself. We want him to get a little rest so he can be here for uh, the, we, you know, the weekend and the, and the big festivities. Uh, Rick Hunt, you know, 500th event and all the things that happen in a great town like Palaka, Florida, Putnam County. Yeah, Rick's fished more tournaments than I made cast today, so that's pretty cool. But uh, finally caught a few fish, but, you know, it's been a dry spell for me. But we're going to make another chance tomorrow and see what we can get to. Awesome. Thank you. Give it up for Buddy Gross. All right, come on up. Clinton Davis from Montevallo, Alabama. All right. How are you doing, man? How, you, you all right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. He's got himself five fish. The limits seem to be coming pretty regularly. He's getting that quality Florida bite that seems to elude some folks. Yeah, I, I mean, this morning it started out good, and then I lost two big ones, and then I never got another bite to 130. So. 11 pounds. Want to hold a couple up? No, all good. All right. Thank you. Appreciate you, Clint. All right. I saw this guy on Bass Track, at least. He had a big bag, and Bass Track is always right. We all know that to watch it. Caleb Summerall, come on up. Caleb it was moving way up that Bass Track leaderboard. Oh, I think it might have been right this time. <laughs> How's it going, man? I'm doing well. You, you seem happy. What a day, man. I haven't seen you this happy in a while. <laughs> Florida's been kicking my butt. Watch the scales, folks. This is a Crush City monster bag. First place, 28 pounds and 8 ounces. Man, what a day for Caleb. Yeah, give him a round of applause. That's cool. That was awesome, man. It's the best day of fishing I've ever had in my life. Uh, like I said, man, Florida has typically, historically got my number. Um, I'm not trying to get too excited because the job's not finished. Uh, I have no idea what I have left, but all I can ask for to have is a start like this, you know. Uh, my express handled the river great today. Um, just floating around and catching biggins. I'm hoping to go, go, go put five together more like that tomorrow. I want to see you over the weekend, Caleb. Give him a big round of applause. 28 and a half pounds. Solid, solid day. Solid start. From London, Kentucky. Come on up, Mike Huff. It's always hard to follow a bag like that, Mike, isn't it? I was about to say that. Yeah, it's a tough one to follow. All right, not a respectable start for you, though. You know, it's, it was a really disappointing day for me. I really thought I was going to catch them, but uh, Caleb just showed us what lives in this river, so can definitely make a comeback tomorrow. I know you will. Just shy of nine pounds at eight pounds and 15 ounces for Mike Huff. All right, Brian Schmidt. Won a few events over his career. Three bass wins, two elites and an open. Couple of them on Lake Champlain, I believe, right? Yeah, that's a pretty fun lake. This is far from Lake Champlain, though. This is a river, though. And he knows tidal, and this is a tidal river, and it's got some of that grass you like so much. Oh, this is a beautiful place right here. 18 pounds and 7 ounces. Brian Schmidt all the way up inside the top 10 in the ninth place. All right, yeah, Team Ranger... Boats, Mercury, Brian, Schmidt. All right, you like this, man. This is more like it, huh? Yeah, I don't know what's been going on this year. I've been kind of mediocre to say the least. But, uh, you know, anytime I'm on a river and it's, you know, tidal to speak, you know, I'm really, really comfortable. I don't know what I'm going to catch. I don't know if I'm going to catch a tarpon. I saw some stingrays, some skates and stuff. It's pretty cool what's going on. Um, I think I left a few fish, too. So, uh you know, excited for the rest of the week, but I don't know about these 28-pound bags right here. But real quick, I saw Chris from FXR here. You know, they keep me all decked out in real good gear and everything. You not not only in the cold, but when it's hot like this too. Really comfortable clothes. Check them out and uh, stay tuned. Awesome! I look forward to it. Give Ryan a big round of applause. How about a 2022 Dakota Lithium Rookie of the Year? He's all the way from Plover, Wisconsin. Jay Shakir. All right, Jay, how we doing, man? I'm good. How's it going? I'm well. Yourself? Not too bad. Happy to be in Florida. Not going to lie. All right. Going to send you up north. It should be warm by the time you get back up there. 11 pounds, 15 ounces. Hold a couple up for me, Jay. 
keeping them down here in the southeast for the months of March and April, and then we'll send them home, and I bet you the walleye bite will be going strong here when you get home. Yeah, the walleye bite's been going on for a while now, but no, this is my second trip to the St. John's. I'm still trying to learn this place. Tomorrow we're going to keep learning and hopefully keep climbing that leaderboard. Awesome. Good, great job. Appreciate you. We'll see you again tomorrow. Hey, speaking of Putnam County and, of course, their Chamber of Commerce, Department of Tourism, the city of Palaka from right here in Palaka, Florida. Come on up, Cliff Prince. That's cool, man. Fishing in your hometown? Yeah, you know, I'm fishing here in my hometown, but I feel like I'm fishing lost. We'll go ahead and get a weight real quick. Eight pounds, 14 ounces. You got some ground to make up, but you got to have some honey holes here. Yeah, I got too many. That's the problem. And uh, a lot of these guys know about most of them. <laughs> well, that's because you host them all at your house, and you're probably telling fish stories. Yeah, well, I tell them a little bit to keep them confused, but they, they figure it out. They're pretty smart fellows, aren't they? Yes, they are. They're a little smarter than I give them credit for. We'll see you tomorrow. Thank you. Appreciate you and the city of Palaka for welcoming us and the Bass fans here to town. Every time we come, it's a fantastic event. Come on up, Ta Takuito. Hi, Taku. How are you? Yes, good, good. All right. Got himself five fish. Going to settle on down at nine pounds and 12 ounces. Yes, uh... Uh, it's a day, uh, but uh, I will try to get tomorrow because uh, St. John's River always so awesome. I like uh, uh, St. John's River, St. St. John's River a lot. So, but today's a pretty tough day. Hopefully, tomorrow is a big work. Do they have tidal rivers in Japan to fish? Yes, I, I fish in the tidal river a lot in Japan. So, hopefully, I will try to f uh, fix the tide fishing. So, tomorrow I want to get. Big giant bass. Watch out for Taku tomorrow. Good job. We'll see you tomorrow. Come on up from Clover, South Carolina. Long time Bassmaster Elite Series Pro, Todd Otten. How's Todd? I'm doing good. How are you? I'm excellent. Of course, part of Team Garmin, and we know the electronics are playing, you know, playing their role all over the country. You, you dialing in that Garmin here on the St. John's River? Oh, yeah. They got it dialed in. Go ahead and hold a couple of those up. 16 pounds and 5 ounces. All right, this is good stuff. All right, good good start to the event, right? You'll take that. Yeah, better than I thought. I, I had a pretty tough practice, and uh, today, you know, I only had six keeper bites. It's kind of worrying me, but... Uh, you know, I kind of got out of my area, so I hope I can go back in here and uh, catch a few more. more so. I look, I look forward to seeing that. Thank you. Appreciate you, Todd. All right, how about this guy? He's got three century belts under his belt. Come on up, Patrick uh, Walters. Over a million dollars in career earnings in his young career. Overall, pretty young career to have that kind of stout, fun bank account. How about Chris on the mic? Chris is the man. <laughs> I don't know about that. We're serviceable, is what I said. 10 pounds, 6 ounces, 10, 6. <sighs> okay, he doesn't want to hold any up. Tell us what's going on out here. I uh, went and did a little something different today. I uh, went the other direction that I usually go. Um, found some good ones on bed, but sadly, they spawned out last night, and them suckers rolled out. So uh, going to do something different tomorrow, and uh, we're going to have to catch us probably about 17 pounds slide in that cut. We've got to make it to day three. I know that. Well, if anybody can do it, I know you can. Patrick Walters, one of the best in the business right now. All right, looks like my, my co-worker left me. She's answering, I can do this. I can do this by myself. Yeah, I'm going to fly solo for a minute. You all right? This could be ugly. Just warn you. Come on up. He qualified through the Bass Nation. Tim Doobie. At least it's getting a call from an angler. So we're going to go ahead and look, because, we, you know, we want to take care of these anglers. Let's go ahead and get a weight. 13 pounds and 6 ounces. <laughs> All right, give Tim a big round of applause. Well done. 
I'm going to talk to you. All right. Hand these off to our great volunteers. Give the volunteers a big round of applause. A lot of young anglers from the Florida Bass Nation. They do a fantastic job. Wherever we go, Bass Nation always supporting us. Tim and you are, that's near and dear to your heart. I know that. Yeah, absolutely. Qualifying from the nation, representing everyone out here. It's a true honor. And, uh, Got to go catch them again tomorrow because these boys sure do catch them. <laughs> they do, but you're hanging right in there with the best of the best. Give them a big round of applause. Congratulations. Good start for you, Tim. All right. How about our next angler? No stranger to big-time bass fishing. He's from Fort Worth, Texas. Chris Zeldane. Bass Pro, Nitro, Mercury, all the good stuff, man. Are we doing all right? Hey, Chris. How's it going? I'm well yourself. Everyone seems so surprised to see me. It's kind of fun. <laughs> All right, go ahead and get a weight. 15 pounds, 2 ounces. How's that? No, yeah, that's great. Uh, I like this place. You know, um, I grew up on the California Delta, so recognizing tides and reading river water uh, is really coming to play this week. So with a short two days of practice, I went out and practiced more today. I figured something out. I think I can do it again tomorrow. Well done. Hold a couple up. Chris Zeldane, 15 pounds, 2 ounces, has him all the way up into 21st place. Awesome. Okay. Hey, Auburn, Alabama's a Logan Parks is coming on up. Elite rookie this year. He's won some big tournaments, though, in his career. Where's Logan? There he is. All right. We thought we were going to have to send a search party, but you're here. We made it. We made it. All right. Got himself five fish today. They're going to settle in. Lisa Talmadge on the scales doing a fantastic job. Five fish to go 10 pounds and nine ounces. Hold a couple up. Give all that bass staff a big round of applause taking care of these anglers. Back-to-back -back weeks. That's, e that's not easy. All the, all the events folks, our content folks, .com, editorial, sales, all doing a great job, as well as the anglers. You like these back-to-backs, or would you just soon have a day in between? Uh, I like the little off day, you know, get a little preparation. I like three days of practice, too. I could have used another one today. Obviously, you know, not the day we look for, but, uh, you know, the, there's, they're out there. There's big ones swimming around everywhere, and I'm looking forward to getting back out tomorrow. I know you will. Great job. Give it up for Logan. Another Elite Series rookie. Come on up. Robert G. from Knoxville, Tennessee. Had a couple of great Bass Pro Shops, Bassmaster Classics presented by Jockey Outdoors right there in Knoxville. We love spending time in Knoxville. Oh, yeah. I love Knoxville for sure. It's a great place. All right. Today, five fish for Robert. Ten pounds, 15 ounces. Uh, it's, uh, I lost a really big one today. I'm good, um, which really hurts. It would have cold out a one-pounder, and it would have been like a six. So, But that's how it goes. I lost my one big bite in Florida, and... I'm down probably low in the leaderboard, but hopefully I can get it's still swimming out there and hopefully I can catch it again tomorrow and have some three pounders with it. I like your thought process. Thank you. Give it up for Robert G. All right. How about a Bassmaster Classic champion, Team Toyota? He's from Pitts Grove, New Jersey. Come on up, Mike Iconelli. How we doing, Mike? Oh, pretty good. You last week and you know, you broke the Florida curse. Looks like not a bad day. Uh, the curse is back, but, you know, there's, there are big fish in this place. So, you know, it's a, it's a start, and uh, we've got to do a little better tomorrow. I know you will. Thank you, Mike. Eight pounds, five ounces, I believe I saw. At least it was a little quick there. All right, Jeff Augustovson, our Bassmaster Classic Champion 2023. Good to have you up here, man. What's going on? I'm doing well. Yourself? Uh, I'm all right. I've had better days of fishing, but... Uh... You never know. You can make makes things happen here. I got to try something different tomorrow. But yeah, it was a rough day. Six pounds, eleven ounces. Six eleven for Jeff, and we're gonna see you again tomorrow. Give him a big round of applause. Come on, pick up his spirits. From Benton, Arkansas, Stetson Blaylock, five-time Bassmaster Classic qualifier, won the Elite Series in 2019 on Winyah Bay. That was a grinder. It was. I love these kind of tournaments, but. You've got to get a couple of those big bites every day, and today I only had one of them, but it was the right one. So, got to get more tomorrow. Just shy of 13 pounds with 12 15s. That's in 12 15. He's got a good one right there. All right, yeah, and that is a game changer right there. A couple of those uh, tomorrow, you'll be right back there where you need to be. Yeah, I saw them too. I just got to get them suckers to eat. If I can, I'll uh, I'll be right there. Thanks. Awesome. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. 
All right, he's won uh, right here in Palaka, Florida. I believe it was the last time we were here. He's from Salem, Virginia, John Cruz. How are you? I'm well. I'm, uh, I've been better, but I've been worse. Okay, I get that. I kind of feel the same way. All right, nine pounds, eight ounces, nine, eight. Hold a couple up. Yeah, we're going to let Mr. Cruz hold a few up. You know, I, 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 can't, I hate to keep saying it, but this is Florida fishing and one bite from really turning your day around. Absolutely. I was waiting on that one bite. I had that one decent bite, um, but I was waiting on that one big bite to really catapult me up. You get two of those bigger bites, yep. and then you can really uh, shoot up the standings. But it didn't happen today, so maybe we'll get three or four of those bigger ones tomorrow. It absolutely can happen. I've weighed some big bags here. Uh, I've been fortunate. But, um, you know, it's Autism Awareness Month. It's April. Uh, we're going to talk more about that tomorrow, so I uh, appreciate everybody coming out, and we'll, uh, we'll talk to you then. Awesome. Good to have you here. Oh, as always, John Cruz. All right. How about Koyoya Fujita from Japan? Tough day for Koyoya. Tough day. Tough day. All right. He's a couple shy of his limit. He does have three. Set on down. Five pounds, 11 ounces, 5'11". Uh, very tough today. Uh, difficult for me, Florida. Uh, I enjoy fishing tomorrow. Yeah. You like offshore? Yeah, no offshore. You you look forward to fishing tomorrow? Yeah. Uh, same tactics. So I try shallow water fishing. Yeah. And you're gonna try shallow water fishing tomorrow? Yes. Got it. Thank you. Give it up for Koya. All right. This young, this young man had himself a top 10 last week, and I was happy to see that. I believe it was his first of Bassmaster Elite Series top 10, Joe Webster. Hey, Joseph. What's up, man? Was, is that right? Was I accurate in that? Was that your first top 10? It was. Give him a big round of applause, man. Those things are hard to make. Golly. Get your weight today, 9 pounds, 14 ounces, 914. Well, I'll tell you what, I had a little bit of a uh, live well trouble, and I sure didn't need none of them to die. So I come in a few minutes early. We're going to get that fixed up, and uh, we'll roll again tomorrow. All right, go see those service crews. Give the service crews a big round of applause and a thank you if you see them over by the boat ramp. They come to each and every tournament. They're working hard. Some of those guys go weeks and weeks and weeks without going home, and they take care of these anglers, uh, the various manufacturers. We appreciate you if you're watching, sending these folks out here. How about Wes Logan? Oh, Wes. Well done, Wes. Yeah, it was a blessed day for sure. Watch the scales, folks. Mr. Wes Logan had a 2020 win on Neely Henry. 22 pounds even inside the top five into third place. Here comes the boom, and his name is Wes Logan. Awesome, man. Yeah, it was. It was a good day. It, it started off rough. I, my first bite was about a five and a half, and I lost it, and then I caught some little bitty ones. I was like, well, here we go again. And then it, the next bite was a good one, and the next bite was a good one, and I made a, I made a move at like 2 o'clock because I had a long day. I ran like 15 miles down the lake, and within five minutes, I caught that big one. So I don't know. Maybe... Maybe we can do it again tomorrow and go fishing on Saturday. I just I want to get to Saturday first and see what happens. All right, go ahead and get that Skeeter Yamaha loaded up and ready to go tomorrow. And from Del Rio, Texas, come on up, Ray Hanselman. Another Skeeter Yamaha Pro. Good to see you out here, Ray. Things good start, respectable start right there. Yeah, it was. I was pretty fortunate. God blessed me today. Watch the scales, folks. 17 pounds, six ounces, Ray Hanselman up inside the top 20 into 15th place. All right, this is good stuff. This is a great start for you, Ray. Yeah, it is. Uh, you know, I've had a pretty rough start this year, but I think we were trending the right way. Awesome. If uh, y'all hadn't signed up, sign up for that. Skeeter Yamaha demo rides tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. Outstanding. Yes. Thank you. Appreciate you, Ray. We'll see you again tomorrow. And again, like you mentioned, going to be doing demo rides, Skeeter Yamaha, as well as uh, Ranger and Mercury and Nitro. So you can come out here, sign a waiver, sign away your life, I guess. And you can go out here. No, it's going to be a beautiful day. Uh, it's a beautiful day for a boat ride over the weekend. So get out here. All right. Hunter Shryock. 
Hey, Hunter, good to see you, man. Appreciate you coming out and seeing us. And look at this great group of fans. Yeah, man, it's uh, it's glad to be. I'm glad to be back here and uh, different time of the year. So it's pretty cool. You love this kind of close quarter action. I'm telling you, 15 pounds, 11 ounces going to have them inside the top 25 up into 23rd place. I watch a lot of Hunter's uh, stuff on YouTube and whatnot, and I know when I, when I see St. John's, I'm like, this is right up his alley, man. I can see you out there flipping that heavy weight into some, into some grass and just rearing back at, when it's about six feet away from you. I, I, I kind of wish it was like that, but it's a little, it's a little bit of everything, um, but it, it, it does help that this time of the year, I feel like you can go fishing. It's a little more predictable, and the fish are more consistent, so it's cool. Um, you know, hopefully, we can, we can dial some more things in, being a shortened practice. Had to fish some new water today, but good start. Looking forward to tomorrow. Hope to see you over the weekend. Give it up for Hunter Shrack. All right, how about a 2019 Progressive Angler of the Year? Come on up, Team Skeeter Yamahas, Scott Canterbury. Hey, Scott. Hey, bud. How's it going? I'm well, yourself? Oh, this is a great start, man. Yeah, I had a good day out there today, finally. It was fun to catch some for a change in a tournament. I knew he was trying to turn things around. One ounce shot, 20 pounds, but 19-15. Going to have him inside the top 10 into seventh place. Canterbury charges to the top 10. Golly, man, this is more like it. This is more like the Scott Canterbury I know right here. I know it felt good. <laughs> yeah, it felt good finally, but uh, it's not very easy out there. I didn't have but like two fish at 11 o'clock, two little ones at 11 o'clock. So uh, made some changes, made some long runs, took that Yamaha Skeeter, burned all the gas out. I think I got like 9% left, so I'm fishing to go get some more gas. But uh I ran all over this place, and, uh, you know, I mean, I like it here. I've done well in the past here. It's just a little bit different this time of year. Uh, Florida, you live by the big bite, and I got two of them. was able to capitalize on them. Hopefully, we can get some tomorrow. Awesome. Great job, Scott. I think there's a Marathon gas station right up the street. Swing on in there. Get yourself some fuel. Scott Lees, we're going to go ahead and have another longtime Bassmaster Elite Series pro, Mark Menendez. Mark, man, I was watching you on Bass Track, too. And like I said earlier, Bass Track never lies. And you were having a good day. day. I had a lot of fun today. Watch the scales, folks. Mark Menendez charging up the leaderboard. 20 pounds and 13 ounces up into sixth place. This is Mark's deal here, I think, at the St. John's. It seems like every time we come here, or most times, I'm not going to say every time, that you're right there where you need to be. Well, I just get along with this place. This was the site of my very first pro tournament in 1987. But, Chris, I'd be remiss if I didn't make mention of a former Bassmaster Top 100 champion that passed away last night from my area. He won the 1992 uh, Lake Martin Top 100, and that was Mike Terry. So... Uh, Words go out, heart goes out, heartfelt. Mike and I were great friends. We grew up together. We played this whole whole game together there from Kentucky Lake, and um, cancer finally won out. But uh, those are for Mike and his family. Mike caught many a big bag. He weighed a 39-pound bag on Kentucky Lake one day, won the, the Lake Martin tournament, and won another big $100,000 deal too. So I just want to say hi to his family. And, uh, we'll go out there tomorrow, and we'll have a little more fun, and we'll see what happens. You're going to have a little angel on your shoulder, I believe, Mark. Great job. All right. Yes, hearts go out to that family, Terry family. All right, from Fayetteville, Tennessee, come on up, Brandon Lester. All right, Brandon's got himself five fish limit. He's got the ladies with him today. How are we doing, all right? Doing good. Yeah, it was a good day out there. She always gives me the side eye, that one right there. She's a little bit shy. She kind of like her daddy. She's a little shy, but she'll grow out of it. No, you did. I remember when you were shy. You're... All right. Today's weight, great start. 16 pounds and 9 ounces. <laughs> yeah, give it up for the Lester family. Always great to see him up here on the fast stage.
this is your road support group right here. They're super important to make this whole thing r- roll along. Oh, for sure. No doubt about it. It's great to have them here this week. They didn't come to the two Texas events, but they're not going to miss an event in Florida. So yeah. good to have them here, and I'm looking forward to getting back out there tomorrow. We'll see you in the morning. Thank you. Give it up for Brandon Lester. All right, here comes another one of our Canadians. I think the fourth and final Canadian to weigh in, Chris Johnston. Corey was talking smack. I mean, I, I don't tell him I told you that, but he was talking smack on you up here. I got to give him a chance every once in a while, but we'll see. It. He said just the opposite. <laughs> He's having a slow start this year, so I got to give him some hope. All right, let's watch the scales. Great start for Chris Johnston, too. 16 pounds and 9 ounces inside the top 20 in the 19th place. We were talking, Corey and I, and talking with all the group and fans watching at home about y'all debuting kind of in the Bassmaster Elite Series right here on St. John's. And I, I mean, anyone who's following bass fishing kind of knew, knew about you guys and knew you were all were hammers. But you came out here, and if there was any doubt in any bass fan's mind, they, they knew quickly y'all can catch them. That was one of my favorite events I've ever fished. It was probably, I think, five years ago right here in Palatka, my first Bassmaster Elite and just unbelievable fishing. We all caught giants, and of all people to give me a lesson on my first term in the Elite Series was Mr. Rick Clun. So yeah. uh, he laid it to me, and good on him. I, I don't even know how old he was at 70 years old, weighed 35 pounds, and found out he beat me. So if I'm gonna get beat by someone, why not Rick? So it was awesome. He is a living legend. We talked about it earlier. He came across the scales. Yeah, give it a round of applause for Rick Clun and Chris recognizing it. He's, he's gonna be here. Obviously, he'll be here tomorrow, but he's committed, even if he doesn't make the cut, to be over here, uh, sign and autographs because and it's an opportunity of a lifetime if you're you're here in palatka come down if you're watching on bassmaster.com and you think you can drive if you've got to drive two hours four hours whatever you need to get down here and see mr clun he, he's he's tremendous he's a, he's a living legend and i can guarantee you when i'm his age i will not be bass fishing i don't even know how he does it anymore but good on him and uh, i'm gonna see him out there tomorrow morning and we're gonna see you tomorrow morning and hopefully over the weekend chris johnston all right, the uh, 2021 Progressive Angler of the Year. Team Rapalas, come on up. Seth Fighter, how we doing, Seth? Doing good. All right, good to have you here. Things rolling okay? Yeah. Need a little more weight, but other than that, no complaints. All right, you going to the big dog with sticks, or are you sticking uh, with the little fairy wands and yeah. stuff like that? Got all them on a spinning pole. I wish I had the flipping stick because I... One big one owned me today. All right, let's look at that big one. Seth Fighter, 11 pounds, 14 ounces, 11, 14. He's going to bring out the seven and a half pound flipping sticks tomorrow. <laughs> tomorrow, I mean. Seven and a half pound, seven and a half foot uh, flipping stick tomorrow. Big weight, 30 pound bag. I see it coming. Good start, though. Going to keep you right in there where you can uh, make that top 50 and get yourself a uh, uh, semifinal su- Saturday yeah. fishing opportunity. Yeah, that's the plan. Hopefully you catch a little bigger bag tomorrow and make the cut. And, uh, yeah, get right. the fish. We'll see you in the morning. Give it up for Seth. All right, Pat Schlauber, come on up, Pat. Pat's got himself five fish. Three-time classic qualifier. 2020 Bass Nation champion. That's a hard tournament to win, man. Yep, um, that was a good one for sure. All right, decent start here. Are you happy with this today? Yeah, it's all right. I mean, you do got to do a little better tomorrow, but uh, I'm, I'm happy with it the way my practice went. 12 pounds, 15 ounces, 12, 15. Going to have you sitting in 46th place right now. We're getting down towards the tail end of this way, and we got about, looks like about 15 left away. So we're getting down there towards the end. These guys that are around those 40, 50s, they're going to be the ones hoping for the bigger day. All right, change things up or just go grind the same waters? Yeah, I'll go fish the same stuff. I kind of had one little area where I caught, you know, a little nicer quality fish, didn't get there till later. So hopefully there's some more there and I can go, you know, catch 13, 14, 15, or 20 pounds tomorrow. All right, look forward to seeing that. Thank you, Pat. All right, from Richmond, Virginia, he, he cracked the top 10 last week at the Harris Chain Tournament. Come on up, Ed Lochran. All right, Ed. Let's keep this thing rolling. I'm going to try. It was uh, definitely a grind today, no doubt. Hearing that a lot, the key is the guys that just got that one or two bigger bites. 
but a respectable start. You're almost 14 pounds at 13.15. Hold a couple up. Going to have you sitting in 35th place. I think you're going to be inside that top 50 when this weigh-in ends today. All right, not the giant bag. I think you had day one uh, last week, but uh, again, 35th right now. We got just maybe a half, do I mean, a dozen anglers left to weigh, so, you know, not too bad. No, I'm real happy with it. You know, if you told me I could have had 14 pounds yesterday, I would have taken it yeah. and not even fished. So I'm, I'm happy with it, and uh, we'll just see what happens tomorrow. I beat fish up pretty bad. We look forward to seeing you. Thank you, Ed. Give Ed a big round of applause. Another uh, Bass Nation champ, a two-time Bass Nation champ, Will Davis Jr. How are we doing, Will? Oh, doing good. How about you? I'm excellent, man. I'm glad to have you here. Getting down your fourth and final flight, I believe. So getting ready to end this way in probably in the next 15 minutes or so. And Will's got himself in 46th place with 13 pounds and an ounce. All right, that's a game changer right there. That's what that's what takes you from 10, 11 to 13 right there. Yeah, I was uh, tickled to death to see that that pretty girl. You know, uh, it was a grind all day. I, I didn't catch many fish, and uh, I had a few good ones on bed I found yesterday. And you know, of course, they're gone. So I uh, just scratched around and got lucky and got a big bite. So just gotta go out there again tomorrow and see if we can get a couple big bites. Bring me two big bites tomorrow. How's that? All right, Jonathan Kelly from Old Forge, Pennsylvania. He's got a five fish limit. All right, how things go? I uh, not too bad. All right, he's happy with his start. Gonna keep himself looks looks like inside the top fifty, I believe. Yeah, for sure. For sure, he says. Fourteen pounds, five ounces, thirty second place right now. He knows his weights. All right, making big uh, runs with that ranger or just staying right here around Palaka? Uh, not running too far, making a little bit of a run, but uh, just going to do the same thing tomorrow. It's been a tough practice for me, just get around some fish, try to get as many bites as I can. And uh, seen a few today, definitely had lost a few that I know could potentially make for a decent-sized bag. So if we can keep them buttoned up tomorrow, could be right up there. So we'll see what happens. I look forward to seeing that. Give Jonathan a big round of applause. Another guy from up there in the Northeast, Alex Weatherall. Alex from Middleton, Connecticut. All right. He's got five. Good start. Yeah, good start. I'll take it. I had a good morning, and then after 10 o'clock, it just went uh, to sleep for me. All right. Well, let's keep him awake tomorrow. 16 pounds and four ounces inside the top 25. Into 22nd place for Alex Weatherall. I like it, man. I'm ha That's great right there. Yeah, I'm real happy with that, Chris. Yeah. Like I said, I had that by 9.30, almost 10 o'clock, and uh, I learned today that that incoming tide just shut them down in my area, so hopefully go do that again, and then we're going to go somewhere else. All right, you're from, from Connecticut. You got Connecticut River there. You fish there a lot. That's a tidal fishery, so you kind of familiar with this running these tides? Yeah, yeah. I really like river fishing. If you if you saw last year at the Sabine, did pretty well on that one. And yeah, I'm a big fan of uh, tidal bodies of water. Awesome. I look forward to seeing you over the rest of the weekend. Give out a big round of applause from Panama City, Florida. Come on up. Two time elite series winner, Drew Benton. Over a million dollars in career earnings. That's cool. Got himself a big sack of fish here today. I don't know if it's big for this place or not, though. It's big. 17 pounds and one ounce. Gonna be inside the top 20. 18th place. All right, I like it. This is, I know this is your game right here, man. You love this kind of fishing. Yeah, I love Florida. Uh, we're just here a little bit late, and I went looking for them today, and they were all gone. They all left the house today, so I had to go scramble to catch that. So tomorrow we're just going to go fishing and see what happens. All right, we look forward to it. Give Drew a big round of applause. Always solid. From New Caney, Texas, our Elite Series, our rookie. Everybody knows this guy, Ben Milliken. 
All right, man. Looks like everything worked out. I know you're talking to Lisa, but here you are, so we're all good, right? We're good, man. The the boat's not so good. It's about five miles down the river, so we got to get that. Okay, well, that's part of this game. You know that. We know that, but you made it here in time. Looks like no late penalties. 13 pounds, 11 ounces. You're inside the top 40 in 39th place for Ben Milliken. All right, man, you made it. That's the key. That's right. We, we made it uh, thanks to Mr. Will Davis. And, nice. uh, yeah, he's, he's awesome. He stopped, and luckily we got in with about five minutes to spare. So we need to go get the boat and get some big ones tomorrow. All right. Well, we'll let you load up. Give Ben a big round of applause. From Asheville, Alabama, come on up, Team Skeeter Yamaha's Matt Heron. All right, Matt. I know you love this grass fishing for sure. Yeah, you know, I always love coming down here. It's a, it's a fun place to fish this, with this tides. It's fickled right now. I'll go ahead and get a starting day one weight. Just shy of 13 pounds at 12.14. 12.14 for Mr. Matt Heron. <laughs> They're feisty, man. They're fighting that tide. I was talking about that tide, man. They're used to fighting that tide, so... They're feisty, but uh, 54th place right now, you're hanging right around there, man. You bring me that 13, 14 pounds tomorrow, you're definitely in. Anything shy of that, you're going to have to sweat it out. Yeah, I'll, you know, we'll, we'll adjust tonight and make some changes and go get them tomorrow. I know you will. Give Matt a big round of applause. From Auburn, Alabama, come on up, Steve Kennedy. Won himself three Bassmaster Elite Series tournaments got a big fan base out there as always man got the family traveling with you always which is great to see yeah so we absolutely love the travel that's the best part of this deal we're doing so. good start for steve watch the scales gonna get him way up this leaderboard 19 pounds and four ounces just outside the top 10 in 11th place for mr steve kennedy i love it i love it i love it steve Good stuff. Not bad, not bad. There wasn't a big one in there. They're all almost the same size. I got a, I got stuck with one about three pounds that, that choked a bait this morning. I had to make a choice, and uh, so yeah, I kept him. I wish. Anyway, you, you lost a you lost a little weight on another fish. I lost a little, yeah, I lost a little weight, and uh, and probably could have called up if I'd, I'd stayed after him. So, uh, but yeah, you got to make choices, and and. Uh, I'd do it again. <laughs> Life is full of choices. Somebody told me that. And clearly, with 19 pounds and change, you made some darn right choices today. Give him a round of applause. All right, this guy is hot as a firecracker, and he is fun to be around. Mercer calls him the main event. Come on up, Tyler Williams. I did all that, and you bring me that? I know. You Come on, man. You're having a fantastic season. Yeah, it's going good so far. I mean, there's going to be days that are tough, and today was one of those. You said that last week. You said, you know, you're going every day, 10 pounds, 5 ounces, hold a couple up. Tyler's going every day, just catching big bag, big bag, big bag. He said, I know that day's going to come. And a little bit lighter than he's accustomed to here on his rookie campaign on the Bassmaster Elite Series. But things overall rowing very well for Mr. Tyler Williams. Heck yeah! I uh, hopefully we'll get back rolling tomorrow. I um, I got one day of practice in just because I was so sore and had some boat problems. So I'm still learning the St. John's myself. Maybe I'll pick the right section tomorrow, <laughs> just try new water and see what happens. I look forward to that. Thank you. Give the young man a round of applause. All right, our twenty twenty three ba progressive bassmaster. Angler of the year. It's got 24, but it would have been 23, right? It's throwing me off because I'm like, we're not quite there yet. I mean, maybe they know something we don't, Kyle. We might as well just go ahead and do both. <laughs> Hand them the 100 grand for the Angler of the Year. But uh, no, 2023 Progressive Bassmaster Angler of the Year. Kyle Welcher, five fish, 13 pounds, 15 ounces. Hold a couple up. Yeah, give Kyle a big round of applause. Man, I'm going to tell you, that speech at the Night of Champions was awesome, man. It was on point. No, was, seriously. It was on point. It was fast. All the elements I like in a speech. 
Yeah, you know, that's that's just kind of how I do everything. And that's probably why I only had 13 pounds, because I go a little bit too fast all the time. But I, I love fishing here. This was my very first Bassmaster Elite Series tournament was right here in Palatka. So this kind of feels like the home for Bassmaster. And I had a lot of fun out there today, but we're going to hunker down in the area tomorrow and hopefully catch a big bag. I know you will. Give it up for Kyle. We're down to about five anglers left away, and one of them's from right here in the great state of Florida. He's a longtime Bassmaster pro. He's from Greensville, Florida. Everybody knows I'm Bernie Schultz. We doing all right? I'm good. I'm good. All right. Good start. It's a start. All right. He says a start. Go ahead and get a weight. 11 pounds, 14 ounces. Hold a couple up. Just outside that top 50. Probably a pound or so would get you right in there. Give Bernie a big round of applause. Team Power Pole. We appreciate their support so much. All right, not, you know, not where you want to be, and, uh, but uh, not far out of that top 50. No, it was a really slow day. I, I didn't have a fish till like 1230, and uh, scrambled to put those in the boat, you know, in the last hour is pretty good. But tomorrow I'm in an early flight, so I probably won't get that afternoon bite, but um, they're here. I mean, these guys are proving it, and so hopefully I'll get a few bites. I know you will. Give it up for Bernie. Big round of applause. How about Caleb Kufal from Wisconsin? Won himself both a Bassmaster Elite Series event and a Bassmaster Open event. And he's got himself a very good start. And everyone thinks you guys from up north in Wisconsin are smallmouth guys, but you're a grass bass, largemouth fishing guy. And it clearly it paid off here. We'll get a wait and then we'll talk to you. 21 pounds even for Caleb. Gonna have him inside the top five into fourth place. Give him a big round of applause. Awesome job. All right, I'm going to try that one for Phoenix Boats Big Bass. Looking for 7.15 to tie. Eight-pounder would take the lead. What do you think? I don't think he's quite there. Watch it. 7-2, worth a try. Good fish, man. This is this is your gig out here, this grass fishing, largemouth fishing, isn't it? Yeah, for sure. Um, it, the morning started off kind of slow. I, I did pick that one up early, that big one. Uh, but it just dropped off from there, and uh, I just kind of picked up a bite here and there. And then this afternoon, it kind of lit up and uh, was able to catch a bunch. So we'll see what happens tomorrow. I think I'm going to reverse the, you know, the way I did things today, and we'll see what happens. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Give Caleb a big round of applause. And here we go, one of the best in the business. Come on up, Brandon Palinick. Got himself a century belt and six bass wins. Two progressive anger of the year titles. I mean, your resume... It's so long. It's crazy. I can't even read all the stuff on there. It's been it's been a good run. 14 years of it going on now. Speaking of 14, how about 14 pounds and three ounces? Going to have you inside the top 40 into 37th place. Yeah, there we go. The prodigy. They named him that years and years ago, and he that's tough to live up to, man. But you've done it. Yeah, I used to be one of the young guys out here, but uh, 14 years into it now at 36, I'm still not old, but I've been around long enough that I'm one of the old guys on tour. So it's been a, an awesome time. I love Palatka, um, you know, and hopefully I'm ready to get back out there tomorrow. I saw some fun things today that hopefully will pan out tomorrow. And Palatka loves them. Some Brandon Powell, and give him a big round of applause. All right, how about Cliff Perch from Payson, Arizona? He's got himself a five fish limit. Eight Bassmaster Classic. 12 top tens. All right. All right. Pretty good start here. Yeah, you know, it's all right. I didn't get any real big ones, but uh, it'll be all right. 13 pounds, 11 ounces inside the top 50 for Cliff Perch. 43rd place right now with it looks like one angler the way. Give Cliff a big round of applause. Well done. That 13-11 going to be in 43rd place, man. You keep it up, and you'll be fishing on semifinal Saturday. Yeah, I'd like to do that. You know, that's, uh, yeah, it's it's been a funky season, so uh, I'm working on getting into Saturday. That'd be a good deal. I'm I, working on it. I know you will. Good, good job. Give it up for Cliff. And this is the anger we've been waiting for. Put your hands together for Brandon Card, Salisbury, North Carolina. 
All right. Looks like you and your buddy uh, Cliff are uh, doing all right here on day one. Yeah, yeah, definitely. It was a heck of a lot better than practice, that's for sure. Watch the scale. going to move Brandon way up the leaderboard. 13th place with 19 pounds and one ounce, and that's the way to end it. Day number one of the Bassmaster Elite Series, the Maxim Tire Bassmaster Elite Series. So happy to have them on board. Look for, looking forward to doing more and more with them. Of course, here in Palaka, Florida on the St. Johns River. Big shout out to our great folks with Putnam County, City of Palaka. All right, he's going to try one for Phoenix Boats, a big bass. Let's see what we can do. All right. You got it? You got it? All right. All right, we're going to late trigger on the big bass. We're going to get, oh, worth the try, though. Seven pounds, four ounces. Just a little shy of 7.15. But, man, great start for you. You happy with this? Oh, yeah. Um, this morning, well, actually, all the way till about uh, 2 o'clock, I had uh, two fish for three and a half pounds. And uh, I was like, what is going on? So I, I made a move. And uh, this, this late afternoon, it was pretty magical. So uh, I'm, I definitely know where I'm going to start. I'm going to start where I ended the day. So uh, looking forward to getting back out there tomorrow. Awesome. Great job. Give Brandon a big round of applause. Give all of our anglers a big round of applause. Of course, our partners and sponsors get here this weekend. Going to be a ton of activities. And we'll see you again tomorrow here. Our 103.